40 miles per hour, the racehorse looks all powerful, perhaps invincible. But within every unseen stride is such fragility, literally a ton of force bearing down on one hoof. Injuries are inevitable. But many of them are also preventable, so much so that it inspires an entire field of scientific research. Um, these are fractures that are trying to heal. At the University of California, Davis, Sue Stover has devoted her life's work to reducing the number of racing injuries. One of the critical things that we're contributing is understanding how the limb responds to different surfaces. Stover and her team are using existing technology and their own inventions to simulate the motion and impact that occurs on the racetrack every day. This device is called Track in a Box. Because as you know, to convert a whole racetrack is over eight to ten million dollars and it's hard to create as many racetracks as you want to test. Stover's research finds that, in general, synthetic tracks are kinder to the horse than dirt. But that doesn't mean all dirt surfaces are bad and all synthetic surfaces are good. The ideal surface probably doesn't exist yet, but Stover's team hopes to find it by feeding the data gathered here in the lab and in the field into computer models. The thing that's nice about this is that the computer models, they're super fast and super cheap compared to instrumenting horses, whereas these kinds of things we can ask relatively quickly what would a horse look like if they ran on a surface like this, and then, and then design a surface to behave like our virtual surface in the computer. The pursuit of an ideal surface is just one aspect of the research at UC Davis. A recent study found that 90% of fractures were related to pre-existing injuries. Stover also hopes to educate trainers about switching surfaces. The analogy I use is we might run on a sidewalk and um, our body becomes adapted or accustomed to that. But if we go and run on the beach, we may be muscle sore. Stover says reducing injuries has wide-ranging benefits, not only for the horses, but for the people who ride them and care for them, and for the business of racing. We keep horses healthy, they perform longer, there are fewer costs to horsemen, fewer costs to the industry, and racing can be conducted with the smallest inventory of racehorses. All of those things are healthy. I'm Scott Jagow for the Pollock Report.